testimony of Dr. Leslie R. Stone. These messages from Jesus and Celestials are so extraordinary in concept and contents, claiming as they do to bring to mankind the highest spiritual teachings of Jesus as an epoch-making revelation from the spirit world, that is, that it is indispensable that I give to interested readers and for future reference some first-hand information regarding James E. Paget, the man through whom these messages were received, and how it was that he was selected and enabled to obtain these messages these amazing communications. I was very often in Mr. Paget's room when he was receiving these writings, and I am the eyewitness to his formation and development into the, into the medium par excellence through which these truths of the Heavenly Father and of life in the spirit world have come to mankind. My first contact with Paget was in September 1914, and I was invited to visit him regularly at his home in Washington, D.C. He told me that he was receiving writings from his wife, Helen, who had died early that year. I was thereafter very often present as he continued to receive these messages. The writings came in a rapid sweep of connected words that obviously gave no time for thought on the part of the writer. And in fact, he often insisted that he had no clear idea of what his pencil was writing until he read the messages afterwards. It was in this way he received between 1914 and 1923 some 2,500 messages, many of them, com- many of them coming, I have not the slightest doubt, from those spirits whose signatures were testimony to the personalities they represented. I do not know exactly when the first message signed Jesus of the Bible was received. Paget evidently felt it was absurd to believe that Jesus had written him, and alas, threw away the message. Paget was doubtful and felt the need of asking whether Jesus had really written. Eventually, it came forcibly to Paget and to me that such messages could not possibly be the brainchild of his own heated imagination. He had been, as I discovered, an Orthodox Methodist and had for many years taught Sunday school. His conception of religious doctrine was simply that which emanated from this Protestant church. He had no idea of divine love in contrast to the natural love or what it might be and realized that such a conception was foreign to his thinking and never could have been a product of his own mind. He therefore felt assured that these writings were actually not only from Helen and other departed spirits of mortals, but from the master himself. He decided to follow those instructions which he himself had never entertained and which by that very fact had come to from outside intelligences which were communicating to him in this way. Paget became convinced that he was being developed for a task of mediumship whereby great messages of truth would be given to mankind through him. He prayed earnestly and frequently. Many times when I met him in his room, he would say to me, Doctor, I feel the divine love in my soul in such intensity that I don't think I can stand it anymore. He would say this experience was always his when he had been praying for the Father's love prior to obtaining messages from Jesus and the celestial spirits. Side note 6, see footnote 2 on page 3. It is important to know that James Paget did not publish his own work. This was done by Dr. Leslie Stone, which he began to do some 20 years after the death of James Paget.